thought I'd do a video on um, my first scratch build that I ever did. I finished it about a month ago. It took me about a year and a half to do. Uh, I basically built a hover train um, using something like this. Um, this is from a train set. I don't play with train sets anymore, but this is uh, this was in a box in storage for such a long time. This is a train set from, this is an engine from the 80s, um, and it still works. Um, I put it on a track and tested it, and sure enough, it still works. Um, when I was a kid, I also inherited my grandfather's train set, and this is an engine from that. This is probably 50s, 60s. I really wish it was still working. This is vintage stuff, uh, but it's not. You can see the guts are out of it. The trucks and the tracks are already gone. Um, I had a few of these carcasses uh, for engines. One of them looked a lot like this. And I was going through storage one day and I found my old train set. And I basically thought, I wonder if I could do something with one of these. Um, and that's what I did. And I'll, I'll show you what I did with it. So just to tour around it. Um, it is a it is a CN and I basically took the engine which was which was red and black and I redid it painted it put fresh paint of uh, this the the white stripes on it um, and then I went to Microscale and I repurchased CN decals for it. Gave it its original registration number. And weathered it. I'm going to turn this. I'll explain what parts I put onto it in a minute. This is the back end. Sorry if it's shaky, I'm hand holding this. Come around the other side. Sorry guys, a bit shaky. I do have someone inside the cockpit and I do have an actual cockpit that I built inside which you're not going to be able to see in this light so the, sh the shell itself the glass in the cockpit windows is the original and the horns here are the original, and I, I put one on wrong. There's one is supposed to be pointing the other way, um, but that's about all that's original. Um, and and there is an underside. Sorry if it's going to be shaky. I'll show you the underside here in a minute. Let me uh, let me cut to the underside. Try to keep it in the light. Maybe see it there. And there is, you know detail inside there. The stand needs to be finished. You need to finish up the paint there. I might give it a glossier finish. This is kind of marked up from handling it. Um, and I might give it a name or a label here. 
I do, when I build models with lighting kits, I do put an on and off switch. Um, this does light. It does light inside the cockpit, although I don't think you're going to see inside there. There are two LEDs flashing in there. Um, that's fiber optic. Fiber optic, and then the main light is just a 3-volt LED. These are each 3-volt LEDs. There are a total of 12 lights, 12 3 volt LEDs running off one 9 volt battery. And the 11 LEDs are running direct light. And then the 12th LED is running a series of fiber optics, such as there in the front and in the back. Can't really see much, but that is it. Maybe inside you'll see the, the lit cockpit now. Can't see much else. And my one guy inside there. And the light bleed that comes out through here, I like. I, I didn't. I didn't stop that. I could have covered that, but I actually like the actual detail, the additional detail it added. So that is my CN hover train. So that's it, guys. I hope you like that. That was a good project for me. It, it taught me a lot about lighting. Um, and it was my first scratch build. Oh, I should probably talk about what these parts are. Um, a lot of these parts here, these uh, metal parts, uh, this here, I would say probably 75% of the parts. This is actually from a Star Wars kit, a Bandai kit. I, don't, I can't remember which one. But a lot of these parts here, uh, maybe 65, 70% of these parts, it's part of an engine, are from a Honda 650 uh, one six scale that I had for like 20 years. It was missing a number of parts and I decided it was never going to get built as a motorcycle. So a lot of these parts are motorcycle parts. This is all part of an engine from a motorcycle. And this part here. Um, and the, these parts here are all part of an engine from a motorcycle. Um, that's a piece of Voyager, the Star Trek uh, Starship Voyager. Um, if you look at a kit, an EMT Ertl kit from the Voyager, you'll see that these are the, these panels from uh, along the outside of the ship, and I have an old Voyager. in my model graveyard and um, maybe I'll break out the graveyard one day but um, this piece comes from that. Um, a lot of the pieces on the underside, don't know if you'll see it, but a lot of the pieces from the underside are also from a motorcycle. Um, these are bobbins, these clear parts and I wish they had turned out better but these are bobbins, sewing bobbins. I dremeled them in half and then glued them. This is a half round styrene strip. And the actual hover pad and the gears that you see on each side are from this. This was just a cheap kit that was missing pieces. Um, I, I think I got it at a craft store. But each one of those hover pads 
is um, is one of these. And then those gears there are basically the gears inside that you see. Um, the 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 new base is just sheet styrene. You can probably see two sheets of a sheet styrene, and then um, the actual um, angled. You can't see it, but the pieces that are holding this pad are, are custom um, built sheet styrene pieces that I built and put them at a 45 degree angle and then just mounted them up under the train so that the pads would mount at a 45 degree angle. Um, and then the rear pads, I want it to be bigger. So the rear pads are, these four main pads are actually, sorry. Um, these four main pads are actually the hubcaps from this. Another kit that I inherited that was missing pieces. And if you see that, that hubcap there is actually that right there and i think most of those are motorcycle parts so i took pieces from basically three main kits and then sheet styrene and and, con and constructed from scratch the undercarriage and the under the underbody of it once again sorry about the shaky cam guys um, and I don't have the box anymore of the 1650 Honda Hawk, but I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Um, it was a shame that it never got put together as a, it wasn't a Honda Hawk. It was just, a, I think it was just a 650 or 750. It was a shame it never got put together as that, but uh, its parts went to good use. Um, so I hope you like the hover train, guys. Light it up one more time. And um, thanks for watching.